Hi, I'm David and I would like to show you a very nice experiment today. This experiment is about 3D vision. You know, to get a realistic 3D vision of an image, you need special glasses, so-called shutter glasses. And these shutter glasses open the vision of your eyes alternatively, um, so that this creates then the illusion of a three-dimensional image. Very recently, I saw a video on YouTube of a French guy named Jonathan Post and this guy proposed an alternative system which should work without these shutter glasses. In his video a kind of stimulation device was placed on the temples of both sides which then induced an alternative blinking of the eyelids and this should then mimic the function of the shutter glasses. So at first glance I thought, wow, this is a very ingenious idea. However, I was a little bit skeptic about his stimulation device. And also I had some doubts that this was really possible. You know, you can easily stimulate muscles electrically. Uh, and you may also induce an eye blinking by electric stimulation. But the problem in this case is the frequency of the eye blinking which has to be quite high um, to function as shutter glasses. So I wanted to know if it's realistic to induce an alternative eye blinking by electric stimulation. And I was especially interested in the frequency of the eye blinking that can be induced by this method. So in the experiment, which you will see in a second, two pairs of electrodes um, are placed over the upper branch of the facial nerve. And this upper branch of the facial nerve innervates a particular muscle that circulates around the eyeball. And this muscle is also part of the eyelid and is responsible for closing the eyes. So, let's go to the experiment. In the first test, we applied a very moderate frequency of 1 Hz, so the blinking was present once a second, initially only on the right side, and then uh, we added the stimulation of the left eye uh, in an alternative sequence. Then we doubled the frequency to about 2 Hz, so the, pres the blinking was present 2 times a second. As also this worked fine, we utterly increased the frequency to about 5 Hz. And then 7 Hz. <laughs> and then also 10 Hz. You can already see that the eye blinking is incomplete. And when we increased then the frequency to 20 Hz, there was a tonic contraction of the stimulated muscle. muscle. So I hope you enjoyed our little demonstration and I think we could very impressively demonstrate that it is not possible uh, to induce um, eye blinking by electric stimulation at frequencies uh, higher than 10 Hz. And we thereby showed that the system of Jonathan Post is really fake and cannot mimic the function of shutter glasses. Oh, I just forget to mention that you shouldn't uh, do these kind of experiments at home because electric stimulation can have very harmful side effects.